Hey, welcome back to the channel, guys. Today we're gonna do something a little bit different. I actually subscribed to the World's Finest Collection, which is a mystery box that comes out quarterly from DC Comics, and you get a bunch of DC Comics swag. I'm not sponsored by them, so I just wanna make that disclaimer real quick. I just thought I'd do a cool unboxing video, and we could see what kind of content they have in their quarterly boxes. So this just came in the mail today. Let's take a look at it, and yeah, let's see what we got. All right, I got the plastic off, so let's take a look at the art on the box that's actually shipped in. So it came looking like this. The only thing different was at the plastic and the shipping label. Uh, when I first saw this in the mail, I actually forgot that I subscribed to this service. I just wanted to check it out because I'm a huge DC Comics fan. When this came, I thought maybe it was the Flash Omnibus, and I thought they just put it in a weird uh, promotional box, but then I remembered I got that about two weeks ago, so... Uh, it took me a second to remember that I even subscribed to this box. All right, let's fold this thing open and see what we got here. The first thing we got at the top is a Culture Fly subscription box. So it must be a uh, flyer for all the other boxes you could get. I think they're all on quarterly basis. Flash hat. All right, not much of a hat guy, but I'll support it. Support the home team. Then next, uh, we got a pair of crew socks. So crew cut socks with cyborg emblems on. So that's cool. Then it has a little flyer in here that shows everything that should be in this box so don't want to look at that just yet don't want the spoilers next up we got is the flash led desk light so this is a little desk light you can put on your desk obviously let's see what it looks like this thing must be smarter than me all right so there's the flash lamp so once you plug it in i bet it changes colors probably oscillates on colors a little bit so that's kind of cool they went with the new 52 art, which is interesting. So far, a lot of Flash stuff, not a whole lot of Flash Point stuff, but that's okay. I'm a huge Flash fan, so I'm cool with it. Okay, here we go. Definitely something I'd use. So this is a mug with a bunch of Flash Point moments on it. A lot of Andy Kubert art, so from the main series. That's pretty cool. That's definitely something I'll use daily. Then we got a pen with the very first issue on it. So if you're into collecting pens, flare it up a little bit. We got something with Aquaman and Wonder Woman on it. It's, uh, I'm not sure what's in this tiny box. I don't know what this is. This would be a tiny piece of plastic, which I'm assuming is for, oh, here we go. It's a challenge coin with Flashpoint Wonder Woman and Aquaman. I don't know if you can see that. There's Aquaman. There is Wonder Woman on the other side. So that's kind of cool. Next up we got is a small statue of Thomas Wayne Batman from Flashpoint. So in Flashpoint, Thomas Wayne was actually Batman, not uh, Bruce Wayne. So Thomas Wayne was the only one that survived in the alleyway. So this is a cool little uh, final figure, uh, more of a statue. So definitely a gem in uh, this box set so far. And I think we're getting close to the end here. They asked for my shirt size and this is probably why. Got a long sleeve of the, all right, the Thomas Wayne Batman, that's pretty cool. That's a cool long sleeve. It's a baseball tee style, so I'm definitely into that kind of style. And then just to show you, I'm probably gonna keep this box and figure out something to do with it because the artwork on it is pretty dang amazing. Uh, Flashpoint is one of my favorite events, at least from the modern era. So definitely a cool box. Uh, if you're into DC Comics, definitely check out the World's Finest Hero Box collection. They come out quarterly, and I think they're under 50 bucks uh, a quarter. So definitely take a look at that. Uh, if you're interested in some DC Comics swag. Um, I also brought out the Flashpoint Omnibus just to show that the Flashpoint Omnibus did come out. And a little bit on this real quick, I don't wanna do a full overview, but it collects the main series and all the tie-ins. And after last week's rant about how I wish Marvel would keep doing uh, more Omnibus with chronological order, not just put each main series back to back. Uh, this one definitely is, uh, uh, doing better than what Marvel's doing. It's putting everything basically in chronological order. More so, it's in order of how it was released when the individual comics were coming out. Um, I read online that a lot of people don't actually like it that way. I, for one, do like it that way, so I'm okay with it. The only downside to that is, I think it's issue three. You end on uh, the Flash getting electrocuted or just coming back from being electrocuted, and then you get probably 120 pages of crossovers. So it's really hard to jump right back into the main series. 
But you know what? I'm okay with it. I've read it a dozen times over and I will keep reading again and I prefer reading it all in order. So definitely check out the Flashpoint Omnibus just came out. Uh, it's another one of those big books, retails for 150 bucks. It's new, so you should definitely be able to find it pretty easily. So that's all for me this week. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing and this really quick overview of the Flashpoint Omnibus. These uh, came out at the perfect time. If you like what you see, make sure you like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications. Time to jump off the Omnibus.